hello thank you for clicking on this video if this is your first time thank you and if you've been watching my videos i am very grateful i am m rosie ah i just want to talk about god again our creator our creator loves us so much our creator loves us unconditionally so i just want to say when you put God Almighty, creator of heaven and the universe, on the driving seat of your life journey, you will get your destination. You will get your destiny. Everything will click. Everything will go on smoothly. Whatever it is that is bothering you, whatever it is that is weighing your mind down, <laughs> your number one route to take is go towards your creator ask god for help ask the angels for help god almighty has given us freedom free will freedom of choice freedom of choice to decide what we want you see he has given us this choice so it's it's, it's for you to decide i don't know how else to put it Put God first. Put God on the driving seat of your life journey and everything will be okay. Whoever doesn't have God Almighty in his life or in her life has nothing. Believe me, I am talking out of experience. I am talking out of experience. God loves us so much. God loves us unconditionally. No matter what we do, no matter what we've done in the past, no matter what we are doing at this moment, God loves us so much. God does not judge us. God doesn't judge us. All you have to say is, God, I'm sorry, and he forgives because he loves us unconditionally because he created us god knows that we are not flawless you see god almighty knows that we are not flawless so move towards your creator hand over everything to him it is his how do i put it when you hand over everything to god things get done things get done the angels work on your behalf believe it or not i am telling you the angels start working on your behalf the moment you trust god the moment you have faith in god they start working on your behalf and everything will surely be all right the problem with we humans we human beings is that we don't have patience we want a quick fix we want to get there fast we want everything just like that and that is why so many bad things are happening because people are doing stuff that they are not supposed to do people are treading on upon others to get where they want to get to people don't care who they destroy to get what they want because we don't have patience when you have patience you will start seeing the sign of god's work in your life first of all you just think you are alive you are breathing you are alive you are breathing doesn't that tell you something it's not by your power it's not you didn't make yourself you are not the maker of air you are not the maker of fire you are not the maker of earth you are not the maker of water so why can't we appreciate this <sighs> super this supreme being who gave us life who is taking care of us everything that happens to us is our own fault by one way or the other maybe you took the advice the wrong advice maybe you you i don't know how to put this but we should stop blaming god some people always blame god some people will say oh where was god when this happened where was god when that happened of course god is watching us but god cannot force us he can't 
He gave us free will. He can't force us to do anything. It has to be our choice. We have to choose. We have to choose. We have to make that decision. So I think those who blame God, those who are blaming God should stop doing it. You see, um, once I put up um, a prayer online, I, all I said was that may God Almighty touch the hearts of the Russians so that they will stop this war. A lot of people went for me. A lot of people went for me on that online post. A lot of people started saying, where was God when this war started? Where was God when this? You see, they started blaming God. And I didn't do anything bad. Because when you want to address an issue, you address the issue from the source, not from... <clears throat> Excuse me, not from whoever is receiving. They said, I should have made that prayer for Ukraine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why should I make the prayer for Ukraine? When Ukraine is the one suffering, that was when the war just started, you see. So why should I? I, I made the prayer for the source of this whole thing, for God Almighty to touch their heart. And people went for me. They started blaming God. Where was God? You see, we should always take responsibility for whatever we do. We should always take responsibility for our actions, but people don't do that. When something happens, they look for someone to blame. They blame God. They, they just say all sorts of things, you see. But our God is a kind God. Our God is a forgiving God. Our God, <clears throat> excuse me, our God loves us unconditionally. And do you know why God loves us unconditionally? Do you know why God hasn't even looked at us like we are doing anything wrong? Because Jesus Christ came, shed his blood for us, for our sins. That is why, you see, if when you go into the Bible, you will see that when the world was destroyed, those people didn't even do one quarter of what's happening now. But then God destroyed the world then. But look at what's happening now. We don't love each other. Human beings look at other human beings like just ants on the floor. They don't mind when they tread upon another human being, when they delete another human being. They don't have the conscience. They don't have the mind. Their conscience does not prick them like what you are doing is wrong. You see, we should hold on to God, our creator. He is our source. He is our creator. We should hold on to God. We should have faith in God. We should trust God. You see, put God on the driving seat of your car. Put God on the driving seat of that vehicle that is taking you on life journey. And you will get to your destination. And not only will you get to your destination, your soul will have insurance with God so that whenever you go back to your creator, your soul will have a good place. You see, that should be the aim of everyone because the body stays behind, but the soul goes to the creator. Wouldn't you want your soul to be at peace? Wouldn't you want your soul to be happy wherever it goes? You see, that's what I'm talking about. Put your creator first. Hand over everything that is bothering you. Hand over everything to God and God will sort it. Whatever it is. Even if it's the fact that you've done something that nobody knows about. Talk to God. Whatever you are going through. Anxiety, depression, you have hate in your mind, you are angry, you are worried everything 
God will sort them. Hand over everything to God. And when you hand over everything to God, just go about your life. Be happy. Be happy. Because when you are happy, even with everything you are going through, when you are happy, God Almighty will sort it. I am telling you the fact. God Almighty did, your, did not bring you this far to bring you this far. Mm -mm. God Almighty, our creator, the creator of heaven and the universe, did not bring you this far to bring you this far. That's just what I want you to know. Trust God. Have faith in God and everything will be all right. Thank you for listening and may God Almighty meet you all at your point of need. Thank you.